What is up, Best Ones Worldwide? It's the Best One Donnie here, back with an unusual type of video here. Because right now I am currently cleaning out my garage. I've been, you know, trying to get this all situated, going through stuff, changing totes around and stuff. But if you're not a best one yet already, recommend you to hit that subscribe button now. Turn on the post notifications because, of course, you already know the grind is real. And today, guys, I have a really special video for you because while I was doing, you know, my garage going through stuff... I found a very nostalgia bin with my childhood wrestling figures. And I have not really gone through this bin in the last few years. And this is really, you know, an emo this is going to be definitely emotional because to the people that actually like know me, like my family and like, you know, my close friends, they know that I was an OG wrestling figure collector, and I was very fortunate growing up. My dad, you know, really tried helping me, you know, get them all, and I had, you know, so many figures. I had thousands of them, all different types of figures throughout the years, but then when I graduated high school, I ended up quick selling my collection. Still hurts me, man! But I sold about like 90% of my collection for money. And this bin has the rest of the 10% figures that I kept in my collection. And we're going to go through this bin and I'm going to show you guys what I got and talk about it a little bit. Talk about some of the memories that these figures, you know, brought me in my childhood. And this is something different, and if you guys like this, you know, smash that like button. But guys, let's get it! So guys, here is my entire tote right here, full of figures. Back then, I used to have, if you count this type of tote, probably had at least 10 totes that were two times bigger than this with a whole collection full of wrestling figures but this is literally all i got left and i'm gonna show you guys while i you know organize them i even got some of these to categorize certain ones and i'm gonna also be using this tote right here so let's get it all right so this really does bring back a lot of memories guys lots of memories so, some figures that I do got, I got, like, some of the old WCW ones, which are pretty cool. Let's see here. We did, we do have some of the old school elite ones, so definitely going to be keeping some of the old school elite ones in, you know, certain bin. We got some old basic elites as well. We're going to keep those together. And TNA, when they were a part of Jack Pacific. I did collect those. Definitely pretty cool. Definitely want to keep my TN TNA ones like to the side because, guys, I do have a lot of my TNA ones, which I'm very happy I do. So that's going to be pretty cool. And whoo damn, the classic rubber Hogan. Look how beat up that is right there. Like, I really, I was very fortunate, guys. I really was with the amount of figures that I was able to have in my collection. Ooh, look at this classic CM Punk right there. Basics, when they're actually good, too. <laughs> Let's see here. Ooh, and these ones are the ones I'm really looking forward to. The TNA and the Marvel ones, because I know I do got plenty of those. And that's, like, one way I got into the TNA. There's my Sheamus right there. This was the first ever Sheamus I did have, I remember, because of this knee pad right here being broken. And then Seamus in my fake bed used to be vi booked very well. Oh, man. <laughs> Ruthless aggression, man. Carlito. Wow. And now a lot of my figures in here are Ruthless aggression, too. Oh, there's a, there's a newer Carlito there. That was like 2010, 2011. Man, Jack Pacifics. Look at that Christian right there. Pretty cool. We got Devon, the NWA champion, at least. I have a old school Jack Pacific championship, which is pretty cool, which I think I'm going to take that off of Devon and 
actually bring that into my actual studio. All right, let's see. Look at that. We got a old edge there. WrestleMania John Cena. This is, you know, one of my favorite John Cenas of all time. And I probably had almost every single John Cena figure. Like, seriously. That's why I regret selling the collection so bad, guys. It's one of my biggest regrets in life. Seriously. And, oh, look at that. We got both the regular and the chase. Senshi, low-key. And, ooh, here's one that might have some value right here. We have the Legends of the Ring Kevin Nash. I remember when TNA was partnered with Jax and they were doing those. Pretty cool. Lex Luger, the um, classic superstars. Um, deluxe figures. I remember when they were doing those. We're going to definitely put that to the side. Because I want to separate the classic superstars as well. Giant Gonzalez. I remember having this figure, you know, as a kid. I was mind blown. Even though, like, I didn't grow up in that era. Still pretty cool. Another John Cena here. So many freaking John Cenas. And damn, there's a basic right there. We got um, British Bulldogs kid. Pretty cool. And, ooh, this one's an old Elite right there. We got an Elite Rey Mysterio. But I feel like the Rey Mysterios don't have really much value because they just, you know, make so many of them. And, ooh, here's a Toys R Us exclusive um, Elite Stone Cold. This was, I think, a part of WrestleMania 27. I could be wrong, maybe. I don't know. Ooh, old Kurt Angle right there. This is when I got into wrestling figure collecting was this era, like 19, like it was like 2000, 2001. Oh, look at that. We got a weight bench right there. And ooh, this one I do remember because I do remember a lot of the figures by like the marks on it from, you know, smashing them together as a kid. And believe it or not, this great Kali back in 2007 was so rare. And I remember getting this, it was Christmas morning. Because Christmas Eve, my cousin ended up actually getting this figure. I was so jealous. And then I woke up, thought, you know, Santa. Santa gave me the great Kali. And I remember this being my first one because of that one mark that's right there, guys. And that's something with, like, the Jack Pacifics, man. Like... Just the marks, like, that's how you can, like, tell. And, ooh, look at that. We got a bone cruncher right there. We got the rubber figure, which that's pretty cool. And I, like, know all this stuff now from watching the Major Wrestling Figure podcast. And look at that right there, guys. This is a rare jacket right there. This is, I believe, for the Ringside Collectibles exclusive Bret Hart. I think it's, like, a 2011 or 2012 exclusive Damn, I need to clean that jacket and do something with it. That is pretty cool. We're definitely going to have to put that to the side. Ooh, look at that. This is a bone cruncher test right here. And I know this because it's funny because yesterday when I was on my way home from work, I was listening to um, the reincarnation of domination and I did watch the test episode. That's the only reason why I know that's a test. <laughs> And oh, look at that, guys. There's another classic from when I was a kid. We had Billy Gunn. They did a lot of insane things at the time. It's crazy. Ooh, we got Davari right there. 2003 Stone Cold when him and Eric Bischoff for GM. Oh, look at that, guys. I love the Miz figures, the early ones with Mattel. So good. Oh, look at that. There's a, there's a TNA right there. We got the Kurt Angle with um, some hair when he was trying to grow the hair back, but it didn't really work out for him. Chris Jericho. I remember that one. And oh, this one right here, guys. This is a KB Toys exclusive Big Show. I remember this one, and it was so, like, unscaled either, which is so weird. And, ooh, there's a classic John Cena basic. I'm surprised I have a lot of basic Mattels here. Another big show. Definitely beat up a lot. Ooh, Luke Gallows. That's a classic. And Maven. Tough enough winner. Season one. Oh, there's another one right there. Another bone cruncher right there. The rubber figure. We got Mankind. Pretty cool so far. We got three of them. 
And oh, look at that. We got an old rock right here. I use this as like a manager because the rock figures, a lot of them are so like off. This is still so cool. Oh, look at that. We got Dude Love as well. Damn, look at that. These were so cool, but I never, like, used them like that. I always just, you know, smash the figures together. And, ooh, a cla there's an Elite. There we go. We got an Elite Randy Orton. And this is, this looks like a, I never used it at all. Wow. Definitely, definitely cool going through all this. Oh, man, when they tried to do the Bone Crunchers again. There's a Triple H Bone Cruncher. Damn. Wow. Oh, Ted DiBiase. Another basic Stone Cold. So many of those, man. So many. Kurt Angle. Oh, here we go. TNA Marvel right there, guys. We have the Chase. This is the Team Canada Eric Young right here. And I got to say, for a first figure, they did a fantastic job on that Eric Young figure. Seriously. Ooh, Carlito. The Afro always felt very, very funny. <laughs> Eric Bischoff right there. He was definitely my GM in my fig fed. We got Rey Mysterio. I remember this. This was SummerSlam when he made his return against Chavo Guerrero. And he had like his whole body like silver. But it looks like they faded the silver in there. But a little like off there. Ooh, this is a good one. We got um Conan. I remember this getting in a two-pack back in the, you know, old days there at Toys R Us. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Another basic Stone Cold. We got Deluxe Rey Mysterio. When I was younger, I loved the Deluxe figures. I don't know why. I really don't. Oh, there's a classic Superstars um, animal figure, which we're going to put over there. There's a Bret Hart. Only if that was the Mattel ringside exclusive. For the jacket, but unfortunately it's not. <laughs> oh, look at that. We got a couple of classic superstars right there. We got Evil Doink right there. Pretty cool. Wonder if I still have the regular Doink in here somewhere. Probably don't. Oh, look at that, guys. We got a uh, Jack's Abyss right there. Pretty cool. Nice little accessory here. Like, guys, like, when I tell you I was crazy in the figure collecting, I was crazy. I even had totes full of accessories, too, which is absolutely crazy. Rey Mysterio. And I gotta say, like, from getting, like, back into this, I gotta say, I've done a fantastic job getting my collection, you know, back up, I think. And we got a classic Superstars Iron Sheik. This was a part of, I think, like, a two-pack, like, at the time they were doing the classic Superstars exclusives. That's pretty cool. Mr. Perfect, one of my favorite ones. And oh, look at that. I got a hockey puck when I met Daniel Bryan. Definitely bringing that back down to the studio. Matt Benley. Damn, an old X Division Marvel figure. And I like how I have like the unique ones here. Ooh, we got an Elite. This is a classic um, the Mattel Legends. It looks like Iron Sheik. Pretty cool. And damn, we got the classic Jeff Hardy right there when the hair was flying. And we got the Matt Hardy, so that's actually pretty cool right here that I do have both of these. I think I'm definitely going to put that to the side for my personal bin. Ooh, ringside exclusive, Val Venus back then. Hello, ladies. And man, I gotta say, like, the Jack Pacific suit ones were really cool, because I would use these guys as, like, managers and, like, my like, custom figures and stuff, which was always cool. We got the John Cena with the or oh, ones with the orange, ones with the red. That's pretty cool. I'm glad that I have a lot of my Cena still. Oh, we got a Bone Cruncher right there. We got the, um, Cactus Jack, so I do have Cactus and, um, Dude Love and Mankind, which is cool. Oh, we got a basic Jay Lethal from the Jacks. And, oh, I'm so, wow! Guys, I, I, I'm i very surprised in this bin here, man, because this Jeff Hardy, this was, I think, one of the first ones that came out in the Marvel TNA series. And look how beat up he is. Like He has a crack right there. And I use that Jeff Hardy so much. Crazy. Oh, we got a basic CM Punk and Evan Bourne. Pretty cool. 
And it looks like we got The Undertaker wearing a security jacket, which definitely going to have to put that to the side because that is kind of cool. And the rubber jacket for the Jacks. I don't know if you guys remember, but, like, I used to love the jackets and, like, the cloth goods that we got with, like, the Jack Pacific figures, man. So good. Which, that I'm definitely going to put to the side. And this Undertaker we're going to put in my Mattel bin. Let's see. Ooh, look at that. We got the mustache Cody Rhodes. WCW Sting right there. I don't have a lot of WCWs left, but I do have some, which is nice. Ooh, there's a basic Randy Orton right there. And we got some old RVD figures. Pretty cool. And, oh, we got Buff Bagwell right there with the thing on the back of him. Look at that. Woo! That's pretty cool. And then we got a Nuzio figure. So random, but... I got I gotta say though, they did a good job though on that head scan. I do gotta say that. For a Jax figure, pretty good. There's an edge right there. Ooh, we got a cool sting here, which is pretty cool. That I might actually be taking down to the to the set. That's pretty cool. Then we got the Shawn Michaels from Survivor Series 2002. I can't wait for Mattel to make that figure. And we got a Goldberg, perfect condition. I'm sure I had another Goldberg that got beat up. Undertaker, man, when he was American Badass. And we're getting down to the wire here. We got the we got the rubber, X-Pac, which is cool, Bone Cruncher. And I knew I had it. I knew I had it. So not only do we have the evil doink, but we also have the regular doink, the clown, which is cool. I also do have the first Mattel one as well in my collection currently. Chris Benoit. That's a classic. Oh, another bone cruncher here. We got Al Snow. Pretty cool. And look at that. We got Hornswoggle, man. I loved Hornswoggle figures. So toyetic. Whoop. I think this Rey Mysterio here was a part of like a seven pack at Toys R Us. Pretty cool. It's got the Eddie Guerrero wristbands on, which is nice. Oh, there's another classic superstars. We got the Hawk. So we do have, that is kind of cool. We actually do have the Hawk and Animal. I think this is LOD 2000, which is cool, except for, you know, the accessories on it. Oh, Vince McMahon. Oh, one of these um, standing Chris Jericho figures. That's pretty cool. Oh, the little vinyls. That's cool. I'm putting this to the side. That's a John Cena one. Glad I still have that. And damn, so this, this figure got its fair use, man. This was, I think, one of my... I still have my very first figure that I ever got in my collection... This one had to be either, like, number two. It was definitely in my top five. Like, when I first got into figures, this was definitely in, like, the beginning of my collection when I was younger. And I believe we got Sable here, right there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And it looks like we got Candice Michelle. I'm surprised I remember all these. And we got two TNA Marvels. We got the Homicide and... We got Chris Sabin as well, which is cool. I have a lot. I do have a lot of the um, TNA ones, the classics. Little speaker right there that doesn't work anymore. That is kind of cool still. Oh, we got the Kane one right there. Another one that doesn't work when the figures used to come out with these, which is awesome. And I think this is for Raven back then, TNA. Oh, there's a tag team championship, which I'm surprised that the thing still works right there because these things always broke on me. A custom little locker thing. <laughs> surprised I still have a lot of this stuff, man. A little guardrail that's broken. We got a little light. Even a McDonald's thing as well. I don't even think that's, like, wrestling-related. Oh, 
look at that. I found a ticket. I've been finding a lot of these, like, going through my garage, which is kind of cool. And, ooh, the classic WWF. We're definitely taking that. Maybe put that in the background of, like, my Attitude Era set, which will look pretty awesome. And we got a trash can lid. And, guys, and we also have the dumpster as well, which is pretty cool. And I'm surprised. I also have this thing as well that I was digging up that I found. This is a part of, like, an old backstage set, which is kind of cool. And a old turnbuckle. Look at that. But, guys, absolutely insane. This was in my... These were the figures that I had in my childhood. And I wish that I had the 90% of the old figures that I had in my collection that I ended up selling. But at least I still have these, so they do still bring back really good memories and very nostalgia to me. And my whole life, wrestling figure collecting was something very important in my life. I was always into it. Always enjoyed, you know, coming home from school and playing with my wrestling figures and having my fig fed, I loved wrestling so much as a kid. And it's so awesome to see like how how friggin' wrestling figures have evolved through the years, man. We started off with this right here, rubber figures like this. Then, you know, from that we would go to like these, the bone crunchers. And then right after bone crunchers, man, we would go to like Jack Pacifics, but while the Jack Pacifics were out, we even had the TNA Marvels, which were very cool. And now, you know, we have Mattel, and this is before true effects and stuff. It's absolutely crazy, man, to see how far, you know, wrestling figures have come a long way. And such a really cool hobby, seriously. But guys, let me know in the comment section below your favorite type of wrestling figures. Let me know in the comment section below. I know everybody's got different ones. Me personally, I've always loved the Jack Pacifics because that's what I grew up on. But if you guys enjoyed this, you know, special video of me going down memory lane, make sure to smash that like button now. If you're not a best one yet already, subscribe, turn on the post notifications. The link's down in the description below. You can go follow me on my social medias and other YouTube pages, all that down below. And of course, to all the best ones out there worldwide, we are taking over. Peace. Mm -hmm.